right uh, hello all today i am going to uh, teach you how to use civil 3d software um, with the data obtained from total station so first of all i will uh, show you uh, how the civil 3d workspace look like so this is the civil 3d interface so this is the application menu so here you can see uh, some important uh, features and uh, tabs just like uh, save new open save as like that these important commands can be seen here and uh, this is the quick quick access toolbar so here also you can see this new tab and uh, save option is there and plot option is there so this part from this part from here to here is known as ribbon so ribbon at the top of the ribbon uh, we have tabs like this home tab insert annotate modify like that a lot of tabs are there and above the top of it uh, we have work uh, web workspace so now we are working in civil 3d workspace if we want we can change it to uh, drafting and annotation that is AutoCAD and 3D modeling, planning and analysis, right? So kind of uh, interfaces, we'll switch it to AutoCAD uh, interface. This is drafting and annotation. It is the AutoCAD workspace. So once you change it to the AutoCAD workspace, now you see your interface changes according. So now I'm going to uh, switch it back to the civil 3d workspace so this is the civil 3d workspace here this is very important uh, box appear in the left side of the civil 3d uh, interface it is known as tool space so here we have lots of uh, tools that uh, can be used for uh, many things so here we have points alignments and assembly tools survey tools and lots of tools are there so this is known as tool space and the tools here will appear in this uh, tabs as well now you see alignment is also here and point uh, tool is also appear in the ribbon so this is known as the uh, prospector so now we are in the prospector tab of the tool space so this is survey toolbox right like that so this is the prospector tab so now we need to import uh, the files obtained from uh, data file raw data imported uh, from uh, total station to the civil 3d workspace before that we will see how these uh, point files appear uh, when we open it using notepad or wordpad so i will show you some files so now this is one of the examples when you open this one, uh, you see, we can see a set of data. Uh, so this, this data. So these numbers are separated by commas. These numbers are separated by commas. And uh, this two, three, four, five, six like that these are point numbers and this is so this data has been obtained by 
ടോട്ടൽ സ്റ്റേഷൻ ടൈപ്പ് കോൾ കോളിഡ സോ ദ ഫോ ഇൻ കോളിഡ ഫസ്റ്റ് യു ഗെറ്റ് ദിസ് പോയിന്റ് നമ്പർ ദ നെക്സ്റ്റ് വൺ ഈസ് നോർത്ത് ഇൻ കോർഡിനേറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ദ തേർഡ് ഡേറ്റ ഹിയർ ദ തേർഡ് നമ്പർ ഈസ് ഈസ്റ്റ് ഇൻ കോർഡിനേറ്റ് ദ ഫോർത്ത് വൺ ഈസ് സെനി ആൻഡ് ദിസ് ദ ലാസ്റ്റ് വൺ ഈസ് ദ പോയിന്റ് കോഡ് so this is 9001 means that is one the one of the control points so this these are some codes rk is rock and uh, you see here we can see uh, different different types of uh, codes so rt means rubber tree rubber rubber tree and sh is sport height right different different codes are there and uh, and these numbers should not be uh, duplicate numbers that means you should not have another two in the list so then it will uh, be read as an error in civil 3d software now we can uh, import this file point file to civil 3d software i will show you how it can be done so i am going to close this one now i will show you how to open it so here we in the prospector tab we have points tool so we can click on this point tools and select it and right click on it then here we can uh, click on create tab so once once we click on that small tool box will appear as create points so here we have different different options miscellaneous points intersections like that you can keep your mouse point and see the description of all these uh, tabs so now if i click on this tool so the last one it is import points so i need to import points to the civil 3d workspace therefore i'm going to click on this one and select the file required so this is the uh, file required so i'm going to add that to one so we are going to open this one and before we open this one we need to select the file types now here the file type is all files but we need uh, it's better to use point files uh, pnt format is known as point file then we can screen out unwanted file formats right so point pnt so now we can see two files there so this is this chitramavati is kind of a road we have done uh, in uh, 2020 and this 8 acres is also a kind of uh, land situated in, uh, at water rack so i am going to open this 8 acres one which was done using colida total station so i am going to open it once i open it if the file format is okay you can see a big uh, uh, not big uh, a green right in right symbol here uh, right mark so here but uh, you need to change the uh, point file format so if you can remember um, i'll open it i can show you if you open this file point file you can see we have point number first the north in coordinate east in coordinate zenith coordinate and description right but if you have obtained this data from um, sokia or popcorn total station so this uh, sequence the sequence is uh, different right then you have point number east in coordinate first not the north in right for sokia and popcorn total stations you will get this east in coordinate first then north in coordinate second right so here in kolida uh, total station we have east north in first 
and easting circuit right so now uh, we are going to use that format right so we are going to use point number no thing easting say neat and description and but they are at the same time they are separated by commas so comma delimited so we are going to use we are going to select this point file format right next one next thing is now you uh, you need to import this uh, points into a, a, a group right so then we can easily understand uh, we can easily un uh, identify these uh, point group po uh, points in a point file group right so we are going to add this add points to point group so i'm going to give a name to the point group so we can say eight acres okay right so now i need to click okay once i click okay that uh, point file will appear here Yes, a small error message. Anyway, right. Uh, it's kind of yes. now. Uh, you can see this is the point file we have created. So still we can't see the points in the workspace so for that we can go to this navigation bar and click on zoom extent once we click zoom extent all the point files will appear like this now you see this is very congested now you can't identify any detail here then we need to change the format change the properties of these points right so now we have created this point file so that is eight, eight acres i can right click on that uh, point uh, group point group so go to properties once I click on properties, now I can see uh, in the information tab, you can see the name of the point group and then the description, there's no description and point style. Now you see it is basic, so we can keep it as it is. Then here we can go to edit current selection, so we can now we have selected this eight acres file so we can uh, edit that current selection so this is we, we are going to edit this one so we will see that what are the features that we can edit there so information is again basic the marker marker now you see the marker uh, this is the uh, marker is the marker is the cross this one and now i'm going to adjust the size of it so 2.5 millimeters is 2b so i'm going to make it 0.25 point sorry uh, yes 0.25 millimeters 0.25 millimeters and i'm going to change the style as well. so I will pick this one, this one, plus mark, right, now I'm going to apply it to the drawing, and OK, apply. So once I click apply, you can see, you will notice some changes in the drawing, but still it is congested, therefore now we are going to think of the think of editing this point label style so i'm going to 
uh, select we need only description because uh, we don't need coordinates we don't need elevation we don't need point number uh, uh, we can use on, uh, only this description and edit it uh, and do uh, the designs we want right so now i'm going to edit this selection because i need to change the text heights and all these things so in the information the name is description only then general it's okay and layout in the layout i can change the text height so here i can change it up. Uh, i'll we'll do it to 0.5 and see so let's uh, make it 0.25 in both point uh, style and text height have the same values so then now i'm going to apply it and click ok and apply it to the drawing once i click apply into the drawing now you see now this congest congested uh, nature is not anymore there okay. now i can zoom it and zoom out so using the mouse scroll you can zoom it now zoom and see now the next thing is uh, now we have uh, created a point file so i don't need this one anymore now we are going to put this uh, point file to a surface so i'll stop here so in my next video, I will show you how we can put this into a this point group into a surface. Okay. Thank you for listening to this uh, small lecture. Thank you very much for watching this video. Coming up next, creating a surface using point data. Don't forget to subscribe this channel for more of the very latest videos.